Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, I just had a revelation of what I'm gonna call this video, which is that the world is our mirror, not our clone. Because I have been thinking recently about Obviously, I always say the goddamn phrase, the world is our mirror. But when I say that it's our mirror, I don't mean that every person you meet is going to reflect every single aspect of you. Because we're not clones of each other. We're obviously different fractals of consciousness experiencing this human experience, pretending to be humans in this vessel kind of thing. And we all have our own unique um angle of perception and level of perception and that's why we can be in the exact same reality and it not feel the same whatsoever because we perceive it completely differently so we're not clones of each other so when somebody is reflecting an aspect of you like I was talking about lessons and things when we meet connections and we have relationships with people like you might meet somebody that's really really confident and you feel triggered by that and it's because you're not confident so now it's mirroring the aspect of you that is not confident and then the other aspect of you that really wants to be confident but those are just two aspects of you and do you know how many aspects you have to yourself like we are literally multi-dimensional multi-faceted people or spirits or souls or whatever you want to call us so that's just two aspects of you and they're only mirroring those two. They're not mirroring everything about you. It's not a full clone. So this is how incredible relationships can happen and can work because we do have differences. We do have things that are not the same, but then we can also see our reflection in them and also see our lesson in them because every single aspect of you can be mirrored in another person but it's just going to be mirrored in different ways because it's not um it's not a clone like when you look at a mirror it's backwards isn't it when you look at somebody I don't know how to describe this but like if you actually look in a mirror like my hand would be like this and their hand would be like this so it's not exactly the same because when I flip it round my thumb's this side my thumb's this side does that make sense like they're actually opposite they're not exactly the same otherwise they would be well it would be a clone of this hand I was trying to see if I could do it but I can't it would be two of these hands exactly this way but it's not it's that way do you know what I mean so it's not a direct clone there's differences there and we can look at each other and find our lessons from every single trigger that we ever have with any person in any area of our lives. We can always, always see a lesson in that trigger and be able to work through it. But they're not a complete clone of you, so they're never going to be exactly as you are. They're never going to perceive every single thing in the exact way that you do. And, and that level of perfection and that level of cloning is not there in, obviously, cloning is a whole other conversation, okay? So we're not gonna get into the actual cloning and scientific thing. I'm just talking about, um, <laughs> I'm talking about on a personal level, okay? So yeah, I just think it's important to recognize that when I talk about, and when lots of people say that we are reflections of each other, we're not 100% reflecting everything because we do have differences and that is the beauty of it. We're supposed to have differences. Otherwise, we would have just stayed as source and just continued being one source of oneness, of incredibleness without feeling any kind of negative emotions, without going through the hell that we go through down here. If we were meant to all be the same, then we would have just stayed there and not bothered to incarnate into this crazy ass planet, you know? So obviously we're supposed to be different. We're supposed to view different angles of things, but it's about being able to do it together. And it's about respecting where each other is coming from so that we can hold compassion in that way and, and understand that they're not perceiving it exactly as you are because they're not a clone of you. So it's okay for them to perceive it the way that they do from their angle and we don't have to jump on them or get triggered by them. We can allow them to be them. We can work through our triggers ourselves and work on our own stability 
in our own chakras, our own energetic system, our own energetic field, whatever you want to call all of these things, but just being able to work through it in ourselves and not worry about other people being different from us or perceiving things differently and understanding that there's actually beauty in that, the law of polarity and the law of duality and yeah, so that's that on that <laughs> i hope that video was helpful thank you so much for watching definitely like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload four times a week you can comment down below if you have any video suggestions or you can text me whatsapp me dm me all my info will be in the description box below i also offer one-to-one -one services into which into what in uh, intuitive guidance on emotional healing, trauma healing, building a brand and business, energetic work, chakra work and so so much more. It's all on my website in the description box below and yeah I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. You could say I love you. I can't get enough but I just want you to myself.